The Montana ewe and ram sale here in Miles City not only offers sheep producers some of the highest quality genetics in the entire world, it also offers a great opportunity for producer education covering some very important topics designed to help them stay in business, especially during challenging years like this. So we've been in, in a drought condition right now, so what, what we really focused on and a lot of the questions I've been getting is, is how hard can we graze this country, you know, before we really need to start dry lotting or putting stuff in? He says that ranchers should be aware of some important trigger points when making their grazing decisions. Once on dormant grass, once you hit that 70 to 80 percent utilization or graze it down to about a two inch stubble height, um, you really need to be thinking about just going ahead and putting those sheep or cattle in, in a dry lot situation and feeding them if you can afford to. Now the ongoing drought has certainly taken its toll this year on livestock pastures and water, forcing a lot of ranchers to make some very tough management decisions. But even in these challenging times, sheep are providing ranchers with at least a few options. You know, sheep do pretty well. Part of the issue they're running onto out here in eastern Montana is just lack of water. I mean, a lot of pits are dry, a lot of creeks have dried up, and so sheep tend to winter a little better on snow, make a little better utilization out of, out of uh, you know, sagebrush, stuff like that. And so I think guys are kind of looking at, at those type deals. So if you're running both cattle and sheep, I can probably winter those sheep a little cheaper with maybe some distiller dry, dry, dry grain pellet or a alfalfa pellet and getting them through versus uh, trying to winter a cow. And Brent just encourages ranchers to visit with their local MSU extension agent if they have questions about fall grazing or other options for their livestock. In Miles City, Russell Nemitz, MTN News.